Yo, hello, it's Revy here, and in today's video, I will be showing you guys how to make the CRT skull visualizer. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to support me, have a website, feel free to check that out. I have some editing packs there that could uh, benefit you in your editing. And let's get right into this. So the first thing you're going to do is to add a like a random footage here. I just used a uh, this part from uh, Jack Boy's music video Gang Gang. You're going to add a adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Y. And here I'm going to add a effect called CC Mr. Mercury. Uh, go a little bit further into your clip so it has some light in it. And then. We're going to change some settings here and I'm going to start off by changing the radius X to 52 and the velocity to 3.9, the birth rate to 13.3, longevity to 9.7 and change the animation here to frill. Yeah, that should be good. Looks clean. And then we're going to add colorama to this just like that. And I'm going to open up the input face and change the face shift to a color I like. So I'm going to go with 166 degrees here. Something like this. I think it looks good. And then uh, to add some edges to this, I'm going to add cartoon. And the settings we will be using here is going to be zero on the detail radius. The threshold is going to be 4.41. And then set the width to 0.3 and uh, we're also going to add deep flow to this and here I'm just going to drag down the exposure to 0.75 and add smooth blending and you will get something like this looks pretty pretty clean so now when you're done with that you're going to mark both of the layers and pre-comp it so now when you have pre comped the background you're going to open up the composition settings and here use your CRT preset settings here so this is the settings here Use those, press OK, and you guys can see we scale down, so we have to uh, scale down the background layer as well to 45%, so it fits here. And now we're going to make a new adjustment layer, new solid layer, and here you're going to add element 3D, and after that you're going to press scene setup, and you're going to import a 3D skull model basically, and it's going to be linked in the description where you can download the yeah 3D skull model basically. So go do that first guys and then import it. So when you have imported your skull, it should look something like this here. And after that you're going to go to presets, physical and then chrome. So you get a little re reflection shine here. Then press OK here and now open up group 1 particle look, particle rotation, and first of all, we want to increase the size here, particle size, so I'm going to set it to 45, and then I'm going to set the X rotation to minus 90, and also set the rotation randomness, rotation R, to 10 degrees. And then you're going to keyframe the Z rotation, so you're going to press the clock here in the beginning, and go to 4 seconds, which is the length of our animation, and then set it at two laps there just like that and now when you're done with that you can close down group one open up render settings physical environment and then here on the override layer we're going to choose our background layer to get a reflection on the whole skull here and if you don't like how it looks here you can open up rotate environment and i personally like set the y rotation here a little bit up to 105 degrees and the Z rotation to 95 degrees. But yeah, after that, you're going to open up ambient occlusion, enable AO, and then turn it, the SSAO intensity to all, all the way up to 50 here. So you get the shadows here on the eyes, and you can set the SSAO sample to 64, so you get a better quality. Yeah, as you can see, it looks a lot more reali realistic now. And now we're done with the settings for the element 3D. So we're going to press Ctrl D on the whole layer here, Ctrl D to duplicate it. And here we're going to add a deep glow. And I'm going to set the radius here on the deep glow to 905. And the exposure is going to be 0.53. Check smooth blending and then check unmalt as well. This basically gives a glow to the whole skull here. And now we're going to add my favorite effect. So you're going to press Ctrl Alt Y and add the CRT preset we made. And if you don't have this preset, I've made a full tutorial on how to make it and uh, go watch that first if you don't know how to make it and then 
come back here and use your preset. It should look something like this now. We are also going to make a new adjustment layer again. Control Alt Y. Drag this one below the CRT effect. So this is going to be the damage TV effect. So here I'm gonna set the minimal signal threshold to 57 and the signal strength to 66 and then open up distort edge, set the distorted amount to 8. Yeah, that should be good just so we get some glitches here to match the CRT. And then we're going to pre-comp the whole composition here, right click, pre-compose, name it CRT skull and then we're just going to scale it up by pressing S here, set it to 115%, boom. And if you think the timing of the background here, uh, the liquid background here is bad, you can open up the composition and then drag this one back and adjust so you get the look you guys like. I think this looks pretty, pretty clean. And uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please like and subscribe. And if you have any new ideas and tutorials I can make, please comment that down below. And uh, don't forget to check out my website, join my Discord server, check out my socials, and uh, yeah, I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.